Thank you, Ben, and thank you everyone to, uh, for joining us tonight, and thanks for all my fellow speakers. This is a really uh, sad day for a lot of Palestinians. It's the commemoration of 72 years of, of Nakba, but I think it's actually twofold. It's both sad and empowering. It's sad because we remember how our society was shattered in 1948, how our people continue to be dispersed, imprisoned, killed, our lands are increasingly being taken from us. But it's also empowering because we survived ethnic cleansing. And despite the exile of over half of our people, we still have a presence on the land. But I think it's important here to note that the Nakba is not only a historical event, it's a continuous process of erasure and displacement. Now, this year, as we mark 72 years of this continuous process, one word really seems to be taking front and center stage, and that's annexation, especially ever since the announcement of the Trump deal of the century um, at the end of January this year. Uh, formal annexation of the West Bank by the Israeli regime has been looming. So I think it's important for us to know what annexation actually means in non-legal jargon. And very simply, it means the, the theft of Palestinian land, uh, the total control over it and, and the resources, usually the displacement of, of, of Palestinian communities. Uh, and yet whilst the mainstream media and most institutional political actors are talking about it as a possibility in the case of Palestine, it's important to stress that annexation has already happened. And this happened initially in 1948 with the foundation of the settler colonial state of Israel and later with the occupation of the 1967 territories, the Syria and Golan, the West Bank and Gaza. And then there was a de facto annexation of the latter. Formal annexation simply means an acceleration of a process that's already underway. Now, I'm saying all this not to be defeatist, actually to the contrary. I think it's important that we link the context of 1948 and of the ethnic cleansing to what is happening today so that we understand this for what it is, that we rethink our strategy, and so that we can work together to bring about a more just future, not just for Palestinians, but for all people, really. Now, one of the, the hashtags to this rally is, is uh, the key to justice. And I really think what an opportunity for us all about, for, for all of us to think about what that really is, uh, especially in the context of the pandemic, which is really revealing structures of power all over. Colonialism, capitalism, patriarchy, they're all working together to keep people, including the Palestinian people, oppressed and excluded. Palestinian liberation will only be achieved when limit women are liberated, when the working classes are liberated, and when the refugees return home. So thank you everyone for joining us tonight. And I know it's a bit strange doing a rally online. It certainly was for me, but these circumstances require us all to adapt and, and to think about solidarity and, and, and networks in, in new and creative ways. So thank you again for joining and uh, looking forward to the rest of the evening.